to Throsby. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Yesterday, the Prime Minister told the House that this was the budget that the people of Australia voted for. Well, how can this be, Deputy Speaker? How can this be when, before the election, pensioners, over 50,000 of them in regions like the Illawarra and Southern Highlands, were told that there'd be no changes to pensions? Uh, and then we see the detail of the budget for the honourable members who interject. They might like to do what Mr John Tardiff has done, a pensioner from my electorate, and peel through the details of the budget papers, because he contacted me a few weeks ago and he had this to say, an item in the budget has attracted little attention and will have a devastating effect on a great number of pensioners. Not my words, but the words of a pensioner constituent. John was talking about the Abbott government's covert plan to drastically alter uh, our deeming rates. For singles, the threshold will be lowered from $46,600 to $30,000. And for couples, it will be lowered for, from $77,400 to $50,000. These changes, Deputy Speaker, mean that more people will be deemed to have a higher rate of return and significantly less pensions will be paid to these part pensioners. There was no press release from the government, Deputy Speaker. I didn't see, see a member from the government stand up in the House and say, this is a change that we're proud of. Instead, they tried to sneak it through under the cover of darkness, buried in hundreds of pages of budget papers, hoping that nobody would notice until it was too late. Well, pensioners are onto them, Deputy Speaker. Pensions are on, onto them. People can understand why the government would want to stay quiet on this, because it's just one of many changes which they are seeking to push through, which is going to betray 2.3 million Australian pensioners. The Prime Minister will slash the current indexation system that keeps pensions in line with cost of living changes. Deputy Speaker, if this change had been in place for the last four years, a single pensioner on the maximum rate would be about $1,500 a year worse off than they are today. Just imagine that, Deputy Speaker. The Prime Minister wants to introduce a new G GP tax and increase charges on pharmaceutical benefits will hitch pensioners as well. On July 1 this year, the Prime Minister will, has also announced that he is going to be abolishing the National Partnership Agreement on certain concessions for pensioners and senior card holders, putting more pressure on state governments and local governments as well who offer valuable concessions to thousands and thousands of pensioners in my electorate, Deputy Speaker. Some uh, premiers have said we'll be able to meet the debt over the short period of time, but not over the long period of time. Pensioners are going to be whacked again, Deputy Speaker. Pensioners in this country, in my electorate, have got every reason to feel betrayed, Deputy Speaker. There was not a word of it from the government before the electorate, but they're onto it now. Order the member's time has expired.